How to install the KT Click and Tow Trail Light Wiring Harness System. Simply select the components required from the numbering chart and the color coded guide. The only tools that are required for this installation is a gas torch and a crimping tool. Simply measure your trailer from the front of the drawbar down to the rear where you'll be fitting the rear lights. Should you be connecting side lights, measure from the rear lights to where this fitment will take place. Select your trailer plug, which is number three and green from the wiring guide. Fit to the front of the drawbar or down through the middle of the drawbar. Select your Y plug splitter. As you'll be running two main looms, simply connect this to your trailer plug. You'll notice a glue waterproof resin may come from this connection. Select your main loom, which is blue number five. You will need two main looms to run down each side of the trailer. Simply install through the side of your drawbar, pushing the cable to the front where your trailer plug is fitted. You may also use a cable gland to protect the cable. Repeat this process to the front of the drawbar where you will now have two main looms. Connect these two main looms to your white piece splitter following the left and right marked on the Y piece splitter. Run your cable down the side of your trailer to where the rear lights will be fitted. These can be then fastened with cable ties or metal clips. Select your universal trailer light wiring piece. Connect this to the end of your main harness. Select your two pin harness adapter for side markers. Connect this to the main harness. And run this cable down to where the side markers will be fitted. This can be securely fastened either by a cable tie or a metal fastener. Select your rear trailer lights. Feed the wire through to your main harness and secure your trailer lights with the bolts supplied. Simply crimp these trailer lights to your universal four piece butt splice connections. Once all these connections have been crimped, use your gas torch to heat these connections. You can then also further add PVC tape around these connections or install another piece of heat shrink over all these connections. Simply install your side markers and connect these to your side marker loom. Crimp the two pin harness adapter to your side markers. Heat these connections for waterproofing. Should you be running two or more side markers on each side, a T-piece fitting will be required from the main harness. Click and toe. 